Hi guys, in this video I'm going to talk to you about how to identify stocks that can give you a 100% return. Yes, you heard right, 100% return. This ain't a clickbait video. And at the end of this video I'm going to show you one stock that I'm looking at that I think will give me a 100% return. Let's get straight into it. It's any aka the not trader your friendly neighborhood swing trader back again with another video remember to hit that like button hit that subscribe button and hit that alert button to get alerts on all my latest videos i've got facebook twitter and instagram at the not trade on all social media platforms and if you check that description section below you see a link to my mailing list my free ebook for anyone that wants to know what trading platforms to use and why and also my discord chat room called pip talks all the links for all of these are in the description section below now, if you want to find a 100% return stock, that's a tall order, that's a big claim, but I'll explain to you why I think I can identify these and I'll, sh and I'll show you what to look for when trying to find 100% return stocks. Now, there's this thing called the hype cycle. I don't know if any of you have heard of it, but it's something that was created by Gartner, which is an um, American research advisory and information technology firm. Now, Gartner created this graphical design called a, a hype cycle because it was a... Uh, a graphical concept presentation of the maturity of emerging technologies through five phases. So what that means is that it showed how uh, a product or service or or even industry, um, the way its life cycle would be at the beginning stages. So it would initially have a technology trigger, then a peak of inf inflated expectations, a trough of disillusion, a slope of enlightenment, then a plateau of productivity. Now I'm going to go through all these five stages in a second. But a good example of this is Bitcoin. And if, you, if I show you a Bitcoin chart right now, you'll see straight away that this whole area that's within that box kind of follows the same kind of pattern as the hype cycle. So now I'm going to talk through the five different stages of the hype cycle and then we're going to reverse engineer how we can make 100% returns once you understand how this cycle repeats itself in different stocks and shares. So stage one is technology trigger. So this is when the technology first is developed and attracts attentions from early adopters, um, people within the industry or enthusiasts that will really know about it. So for example, um, when Bitcoin first came out, it was just a white paper. There was um, people in the dark web were using it to buy different things. So it was only really early adopters, people that are really into the tech industry. So maybe developers, um, coders, people that, um, hackers, people that were in the tech space that were really into these type of stuff would have known about it. And they were the early adopters. And these were the technology, this was the technology trigger. Then you got peak of inflated expectations. So we all know about around December 2017, I believe it was, when Bitcoin reached about 20,000 US dollars in value. And this was primarily because all the early adopters, the people that got in early, um, started cashing out at its peak. And people that had got in late due to media hype were just in it for the money, but didn't necessarily understand the underlying product or what it was about, um, but wanted to just make money because they saw that the press and the media was really pushing pushing Bitcoin. You can see on NBC, you can see on um, on CNN, everyone was talking about it. So even your your um, person, even my my postman knew about Bitcoin at that point. That's when you knew that it was it had it hit a hit peak of um, of expectations. And seemingly, so, and seemingly overnight, everyone is talking about this new technology. Once again, it dominates the media, as I just said, and news debates it. So once it hits that level of public um, awareness, that's normally when the early investors cash out because they realize that at some point it's going to have to um, sell off because it's overinflated. The price has been overinflated just due to hype and hysteria by, um, by um, consumers. So phase three, this is where after it's hit its peak, um, early investors start pulling out of their investments because they want to realize their, their um, gains and then some of the late investors also pull out because they start making losses because they entered a bit too late. So if you entered towards the 20,000 mark in, in Bitcoin, you, uh, you were in for a, a really uh, bad surprise after Christmas when it started tanking. And um, this is just because it's been overvalued, overhyped and then what goes up must come down and then it kind of it just keeps falling and the trough of disillusion means that it falls nearly to the point at which where it started if not close to it and then you have the slope of enlightenment which is phase four so this is when after the mass hysteria is over and it's reached pretty much near a rock bottom 
um, people understand that the hype is exaggerated, but it still has important potential use and stuff like, for example, Bitcoin, um, the blockchain technology that that's underlying Bitcoin is still useful in real world application. And now people, after the mass hysteria is over and lots of people made their money, some people have lost money, it goes down to a more reasonable price and then it starts edging back up again as um, as a uh, real world application use of this, this technology becomes a bit more viable and people um, cautiously start re reinvesting back in the product or service. <laughs> And then we have the final stage, which is phase five, which is plateau of productivity. So this is when mainstream adoption starts to take off. The technology's broad market applicability and relevance are clearly paying off. So this is when um, the adoption on the mass scale has become accepted by the general public and people start using it in their everyday lives. So blockchain isn't really there yet. So Bitcoin probably hasn't re reached that stage yet, but you can look at other technologies such as um, we can even look at the computer. Um, in the 80s, there was not that many. In the 70s, the computers were something that was only used for maybe the government or um, military. But by the 80s and 90s, it, it had mainstream adoption and now there's computers in every household. So that's, for example, plateau of productivity. That's the phase at which uh, mainstream starts getting hands on the, product, the, the um, technology and they're using it in their uh, everyday life. So, I'm, so I know you must be wondering why did I go through this hype cycle with you? If you watch this to, if you've got to this point, then thank you for watching it. But now here's where the payoff is. If you can identify one or two different type of uh, services or markets, if you can identify a paradigm shift in products or service like cryptocurrency, or a new sector creation, cryptocurrency could probably come into that because that was a new asset class, or the weed industry, for example, a uh, new sector creation, a sector that was initially banned. And now it's it's been um, decriminalized, um, and now a market has cr has been created. Um, then you can see that um, you could probably take advantage of of the hype cycle. And what I mean by that is, with the hype cycle, if you can identify at what stage a a new product, service, stock is at the hype cycle, given that they fit the criteria that allow. Um, the hype cycle to occur so it needs to be a company that's an, an, in a new sector new industry new product that can change the world maybe um maybe driverless cars or something like that then you can you can let it hit the peak you can either be an early adopter but it's really hard to really identify this really early on because a lot of times this is this is for people that in the know before the mass majority but if you miss that and you get to the peak don't and uh, don't be what do what most retail investors do and and get FOMO and enter here because then you end up um, uh, catching the catching a fall in life you want to let it hit this peak fall down to trough of disillusion and enter here because this bit is where you can make your money now let me show you the one stock that I'm looking at that can make that I think will be making me 100% return um, given the information I've just presented to you just now so the one stock I'm looking at right now is Kronos Group. Now before you guys uh, ridicule me, I know that I made a video, I think it was around September, saying Kronos was a buy, Kronos was a buy. And that was that was me being stupid because this was, I said it was a buy around here. And that was probably the worst time to buy it. But I was blinded by just my technical analysis head and I didn't think about the overarching, the macro level view of it. And Kronos is a um, weed company. And the day, the weed industry is pretty young it's still in its infancy so i believe that right now it is at the um disillusion stage of the life cycle the hype started when when a deregulation came to to um to weed and then people overhyped it it get, made lots of gains and then now it's sold off because the early people that made their money cashed out and they just been spending the last like eight months selling off but i believe we are now at the disillusion stage and I believe it's going to start creeping up. This yellow line is where I think it's going to follow, something like this. I believe we're at the bottom. So this is a this would be a good place to enter in my opinion. And this is where I'm entering. So I believe that you can make some serious profit as you um, hold this. But this is going to be a pretty long term hold. You can, uh, It might be even a year that you could be holding this. But I'm looking at like 100% gains in my opinion. It, this is just in my opinion. And I believe that this would be a great time to enter a Kronos Group. Um, just based off of the hype cycle theory. Um, but yeah, so and I've got other I've got other stocks that I'm looking at that actually fulfill this theory, just like Bitcoin, so just like Kronos. But I'm not sharing with you guys. I'm I'm creating a premium group and I'm going to share it with people in that premium group. If you want to join, let me know. Um, 
and if you join the discord group and you can find out a little bit more information but i've shared with you this one but there's others that i've got in the bag uh, for those who want to know, let me know if you want to join the premium group. It's any aka the not trader signing out.